Hey there, it's Matt from Swim University, and I'm answering more of your pool care questions. We're talking about cartridge filters, green water, shock, phosphates, and more. So if you want your question answered in a future video, make sure that you fill out the form linked below. Otherwise, let's dive in. Question number one, can you vacuum to waste with a cartridge filter? Technically, yes, it's possible. If you need to vacuum out algae or flocculin from your pool, the waste settings let you bypass your filter while the water exits out the waste port. But with a cartridge filter, you don't have that setting. So since there's no waste setting on the filter itself, you'll need the water to exit before it hits your filter. Look for a diverter valve between your pump and your filter. You might be able to hook up a backwash hose there so that the water doesn't get into the filter. Or you can take the cartridge out of the filter, open the drain at the bottom and vacuum out that way. Just be sure to shut off the flow of water to your return lines. Question number two, what's the best way to kill algae? My pool is a teal color and it just won't go away. Well, when it comes to algae, the answer is usually to shock your water. If your pool is teal green, it means you wanna shock with a double dose of chlorine shock. That means two pounds of calcium hypochlorite shock for every 10,000 gallons. Now, before shocking, make sure that your alkalinity and pH are balanced. And you'll also wanna brush your pool surfaces before shocking and clean your filter after shocking. And finally, if you've done all that, and it's still teal green, there's a chance that you might have copper in your water. So you'll need to test your water for metals and use a metal sequestrant. Question number three is how do I keep my Intex pool clear without a skimmer? So one of the key components of pool care is good filtration. Without a skimmer, you're missing a big piece of that. So I would recommend installing a skimmer. Otherwise, you can use a spa vacuum. This is a handhold vacuum that lets you suck up debris and contaminants without needing to hook it up to your pool. And finally, like any pool, you wanna test and balance your water regularly. Question number four, do I still need to add chlorine tablets or chlorine shock to my saltwater pool? I'm having trouble keeping it clear and I thought that part of switching to a saltwater system means I don't have to add chlorine products anymore. You likely still need to add some chlorine to your saltwater pool, just not chlorine tablets. Your saltwater generator keeps your chlorine levels steady and consistent, but if there's an issue like cloudy water or algae or you have really hot weather, your chlorine can drop and your saltwater generator can start to overwork. That's where chlorine shock can help. Now shocking your pool with dichlor shock or a liquid chlorine can clear up contaminants and help prevent your saltwater generator from overworking. Question number five is can I use chlorine shock instead of non-chlorine shock in a bromine pool? Yes, you can. And while you should never combine regular chlorine and bromine as a pool sanitizer, you can use chlorine shock in a bromine pool. When you use chlorine shock in a pool, it will reactivate the bromide ions, converting them into bromine. Question number six. In your phosphate video, it seems like if someone uses chlorine and algicide, they won't have phosphate issues. But I see people with algae and high phosphates. How do you explain this? So I've worked in a pool store for many years and I know firsthand that phosphate removers tend to be sold as the solution for algae. A customer walks in with a green pool and then they're pitched a phosphate remover. But there's a lot of steps that the customer needs to do before that. Now first, they need to brush and vacuum their pool surfaces, they need to balance their water, they need to shock their pool and run and clean their filters. Now, if their pool is clean and it's balanced, then they can start to use algicide as a preventative treatment. And if all of that doesn't work, then you can move on to a phosphate remover. But more often than not, people are sold this up front. Okay, if you wanna submit a question for a future video, head over to swimu.com slash question or fill out the form linked below. And be sure to subscribe to find out when your question gets answered. That's it, thanks again and happy swimming.